So built-in functions in Python are very handy. Um, if we look at you know what's available, but even this is not enough to cover everything that we might need from a, um, a programming perspective. And so we actually have the ability to bring in some library functions. So I'm going to create a new um, demo and I'm going to call this uh, library functions demo and we'll open up uh, Visual Studio Code here and as usual we'll create a new file I didn't create it where I wanted I'm going to just cancel that create a new file here we'll call it library functions demo dot py library functions demo dot py and um, we'll do the usual I'm just going to do this so that I can paste it in Over my date, 2021, purpose, demonstrate using library functions. So the way, so there's a, so one of the libraries that we're going to be can use is the math library. And the way we use it is we say import and the name of the library or module. These are all these are also called modules. And what does that do for us? Well, uh, what we could do then is um, we can say math.floor and then provide, say, a number. And um, we'll just say uh, result is equal to that. And then I'll print uh, the result. So I'm going to run that. Let me try again. Didn't see that one. Oh, there it is, 32. So if we take <clears throat> um, 32.9 and, and apply the floor function, what it does is it displays basically, it, it, it rounds it down. It's almost like the integer function. It's a little different, but it, but it, it basically truncates it. Um, so the math, and the way we got that function is we put the name of the library here, math, and then we put a dot, and then we put floor. So with a library, once you import the library, you then put the name, whenever you want to use a function from the library, then you put the word math, the name of the library, dot, and then whatever function it is. We, this won't work if we just, for example, did floor. And you'll notice if I do that, I hover over it, it says floor is not defined. Python doesn't know what floor is. It only knows math.floor. And you'll notice as soon as I hit that dot, there's all these functions here. Cosine, sine, tangent, arctangent, ceiling. Um, and there's a lot of them. Um, and so basically these are all your standard functions. In fact, you can notice that there's a square root function. So let's... Let's change this up. Let's um, let's add an input. We'll say num is equal to float um, input. Please enter a number. So we'll get a number, and then we're going to apply this floor function to num, and we'll say the floor of your number is result. So now what we have is it looks a little better. So now we can put in a number. I put 33.7. The floor of your number is 33. And 
let's see what other functions there are. Um, and, you know, maybe um, we'll use uh, variable names that will work a little better here. I'm going to change that variable name. And we'll see why in a minute. It's because we're going to have a lot of calculations here, and I just want to um, demonstrate, or I want to keep track of what there is. So the floor of 55.7 is 5. And then we might say value um, seal is equal to math dot, and there's a ceiling function. And you can hover over these, and it should, at least once you print them or select them, return the ceiling of x as an integral. This is the smallest integer greater or equal to your number. So you can, and we'll do that for the number. And I'll, I will use the same kind of print statement. The ceiling of your number is, and we will ceiling. Let's see what that looks like. Oops typed into my code rather than into the program. So the floor of my number is 55. The ceiling of my number is 56. And we can just experiment with um, you know, let's see, the square root is equal to we'll do math dot square root of our number. And And so now we'll display the square root. So the floor is 77, the ceiling is 78, the square root is this. And, you know, so we can use this for, um, for doing a lot of the same types of calculations. Um, you know, if we wanted to uh, redo the Pythagorean theorem, you know, we could say uh, side one is equal to float input, please enter length of side one. We'll do the same thing with side two. And then we would say um, is equal to, and now we can say, well, it's a square root of side one raised to the second power and side two raised to the second power. Uh, I put square root, it needs to be math dot square root. So we get it from the math library. We import it. And then print is And so now I'll run this. Let me comment this out. So this code I don't want to see. I'm going to hit Control K and Control C. I'll comment it out. If I want it back in later, I hit Control K and Control U. And so between these two, um, Control K, Control C, Control K, Control U, I can I can comment out sections of code when I'm just playing around with this. And so I'll run this so that I could just see what code is. So I'll put in, you know, three and four. Oh, we have a problem. 
Yeah, so I this is really needed to be addition. Oops. I hit there we go. So we want to add the square root of side one plus the square root of side two and it I mean we want to put we want to take the square of side one plus the square of side two and then take the square root of it. Let's try that again. And the hypotenuse is five. So we've got the correct answer. So you can see you can combine math arithmetic operators and function operators like math dot square root and, um, and then they work they should work just fine uh, so that's another option for getting your functions now if you don't want to type math dot everywhere another thing you can do is you can change your import statement so rather than this what we can do is we can say import we can say from math import and then you can list your function so now I am importing square root to use let me put this up here so we can see it side by side I'm importing square root I'm just importing the square root function if I do that then I don't need to put math dot I can just put square root because I'm telling Python hey bring square root into this namespace and and I don't need to bring entire math and I'm just bringing this one function and then th then we can just use square root we don't have to put math dot and similarly if I'm going to uncomment these we have all these others well, we have all these math dots so what we would do is we would list separated by commas the functions we're using And then we don't need this math dot stuff. And so that might seem, you know, for some purposes, this might be a little cleaner by just importing just the functions you want. And, um, and then you don't have to type math dot next to every function. So I saw here in when you're debugging, what you'll see is you'll see an error and it'll give you, it'll actually tell you trailing comma not allowed without surrounding parentheses. So, okay, it has a problem with this comma. I deleted that and now it works. So let me, or I hope it works. Yes, it does work. So side one, um, I'll put four, three, five, and then please enter a number, 77.8. Gives me the ceiling and the floor. And then gives me the square root as well. So you can see, um, this is you can either import math, and then here. You don't need math dot if you import just the specific function you want. So that's the fundamentals of importing a library. And let's see if we can find um, some documentation on this. So these are the built-in functions. And then um, let's see, uh, Python math library is probably the best way to find it. <clears throat> So these are the math functions, and you see there, math ceiling, math um, combined. There's a whole bunch of functions in here um, uh, that you can play around with, uh, and they have explanations. You know, there's even some logical functions that return true or false. Anything that says is will turn true or false if something it is in fact. Um, that thing um, and some of these we will need to know about um, uh, maybe lists there's a truncate function 
and the exponential function, a log function, um, and then sine, cosine, and tangent to do your 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 um, trigonometry functions. So that concludes using the math library functions or any library function. Basically, will, any library will allow you to use its functions basically the same way.